Hi guys, and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to create a little custom search bar. Custom search bars are great things to have on your site if you've got a lot of content and want to direct your visitors to a specific place. They can look for anything they want in here. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. And let's just get rid of this. I'm going to click on the little black button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to help you to build just about any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed, they also give you another dozen or so, which will help you to display your products. Really useful. OK, there's a little search right there. We're going to use that today. Just going to left click. And there it is. You've got a little search bar there. Fantastic. Now that looks pretty much like any other search bar, but of course with Divi, you can customize it however you wish. So let's go in. The first thing when you go in there, we're on the content tab. It's going to ask you about the input placeholder. Well, the placeholder is anything that appears inside the little search box there. So you can put anything you want in there that, that works for you. If we drop down a little bit, you've got elements. You can decide to show or hide the button. I like to leave mine there. Obviously, people can type stuff in there and just hit the return. It'll, it'll do the search for them. You can choose to have exceptions. If you don't want to include pages in the search, you can turn this one to yes. If you don't want to include posts, you can turn this one to yes. But uh, I'm happy for them to search everything there. And if you've got categories for your posts or your products, I'd probably check that. Because if you've forgotten to categorize something or you've got a test post that's uncategorized, you don't really want that coming up in the search. Background is the color for the actual search field there. So just for fun, I'm going to make mine black. And we'll change that placeholder text in a minute. Don't really need to give it an admin label. The word search sums it all up pretty much. For those of you that don't know what an admin label is, if you're working in wireframe mode and you've got a lot of modules in there, little icon for wireframe mode on the left hand side, just hit the little purple button. The admin label is what it's called here, button, button, text, and there's our search just up the top there. So let's go back to our desktop mode. Go back down to where we were. And let's continue with the design tab next. OK, here's the field. Placeholder color. There we go. We can see that a lot better now. That's that placeholder text we put in. Field background color, you, you've got another option to choose the color here. If you decide you don't like that black color, you can put it in here. I think I'm going to leave mine as that black though. Field text color, that's when people start typing in there. I'm going to put that to white. Focus background color is the actual background color when they click on it. That means it's in focus. So you could make that a sort of lighter gray or whatever color works for you. I think we'll have it sort of fairly dark still, something like that. And a field focus text color, that's when you've clicked on it again, you're typing in there. Again, I think I'm going to leave that as white. You can change the font color, font type here if you want to, and Divi comes as standard with a huge amount of fonts, so you're never stuck with a, a font to use with Divi there. But I'm happy to use the default, so I'll just leave it on default. You can make it regular, semi-bold, bold, ultra-bold, usual sort of text options we've got there, capitalize, underline, strike through, etc. If you want to, you can have it in the middle or to the right. I'm happy to have mine on the left. And of course, you can increase or decrease the font size by either typing a value in there or sliding the slider up and down. Letter spacing, space between each letter, I'm happy to leave everything just as it is default there. So let's move on down. We've got the text here. 
Again, you can align it left, right, and you can use the generic light colors if you prefer. As you can see, it's changed it on the button and made our button da dark down there. Don't want any text shadow on it. If we go down to the button text just below, we can set the button and border color all in one stroke here. Let's make that blue. As you can see, it's made our button blue and given it a nice little blue border there too. And again, you've got all the font options you had with the other text earlier on. But I'm happy with all that. The text color is absolutely fine, stands out great. Text size is fine too. So the only other thing I want to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of box shadow just to lift it off the page. Great. So there's our little search box and that's a nice little custom box to have there and you can put it anywhere on your site. Of course now with the new positioning options that Divi's given you, you can make it sticky if you wanted to stick it to the bottom or the top of your site. Really easy to do. So let's do that perhaps. So I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to go over to advanced. I'm going to say position. And instead of default, which is what it is as default, funnily enough, I'm going to put it to sticky or fixed rather. As you can see, it's disappeared. The reason it's disappeared, it's shot it up to the top left of our site and we can't see it there. I'm going to put it down on, let's put it on this bottom left corner perhaps. And you've got these little grids, middle top, right top, middle left, as you can see right there. Bottom left, right there. Middle left, right there. And it looks like it's cutting off our text a little bit there. Put it on bottom left. I'm going to bring it just up a little bit from the bottom. So vertical offset, I can pull it up a little bit. I don't want to pull it up too much, perhaps about there. And horizontal offset, you can bring it out from the side a little bit if you want to, just by sliding that one over. It's kind of behind our little save button there, but that's okay for the moment. Looks like it's squashed it up a little bit. Just put this out of the way so we can see it. There we go. Uh, let's go to our design and make the size a little bit bigger there. Let's have a look. Width. Just slide this down till it's the width that you want it to be. So they can type something in there and they can read that looking for something. You can fine tune it with the little up and down arrows there. That works for me. That's fine. So let's save our changes and we've now got a fixed position little search bar. Save the page changes and exit the visual builder. And there it is. Here's our little sticky search bar. And if we scroll down the site, it should stay exactly where it is. And there we go. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.